Hello. Let's negotiate today's topic, which is about introduction to machine learning. To start with, let us know what machine learning is. Machine learning is an algorithm that has the ability to learn from past experience. For example, consider two differing years, which are supposed to be 2018 and 2019. In both the years there is no rainfall. By taking it into consideration we can also estimate there will be no rainfall in the year of 2022. Here, this lets us know from past experience. We are estimating the future. From this example we just got to know about machine learning in a short while. Generally, nowadays machine learning is used in iPhonex cams, as it is helping in face recognition. And it is also used in self-driving cars as well. By falling into the further topics, we will get to know it precisely. Let's discuss the very subtopics in it. 1. Well posed learning problems. 2. Designing a learning system. Checking out briefly. 1. Well posed learning problems. It is defined as a computer program that is said to learn from experience E in context to some task D and some performance measure P. If its performance is on P, as it was measured by P, upgrades its experience E. Any problem can be segregated as a well posed learning problem. It has three traits. A. Task. B. Performance measure. C. Experience. Example for this is. Let's take. Task is considering a person driving a car. Here, the task is a person driving a car. Performance measure is how he is performing while driving a car is a performance measure. Experience is after completing driving the car the person can be experienced by driving. 2. Designing a learning system, in this there are five keynotes. There are, 1. Choosing training experience. 2. Choosing the target function. 3. Choosing a representation for the target function. 4. Choosing a function approximation algorithm. 5. The final design. Coming to, 1. Choosing training experience, in this the first design of choice is to choose the type of training experience from which the system will learn. The type of training experience available can have a significant impact on success or failure of the learner. There are three attributes which impact on the success or failure of the learner. A. Whether the training experience provides direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system. Example is considered as such that there is a queen on the chessboard, which can move directly or indirectly. B. The degree to which the learner controls the sequence of training examples. C. How well it represents the distribution of examples over which the final system performance P must be measured. 2. Choosing the target function. In this, A. Choose a move that should be the target function in notation. By choosing move, B to M, which indicates that this function accepts any board as input from the set of legal boards B and produces the set of legal moves, M as output. Choose move as a voice for the target function in the checkerboard example, but this function will turn out to be very difficult to learn given the kind of indirect training experience available to our system. Let the target function be as V and the notation will be V is to B to R, which denotes that V maps only the legal board state from the set B to some real value. We intend for this function V to assign higher scores to better board states. If the system can successfully learn such a target function, V then it can easily use it to select the best move from any current board position. b. An alternative target function is an evaluation function that assigns a numerical score to any given board state. Let us define the target value of v of, b, for an arbitrary board b and b, as followed with the four cases they are. In case 1, if b is a final board state that is 1, then v of, b, equals 100. In case 2, if b is a final board state that is lost, then v of, b, equals minus 100. In case 3, if B is a final board state that is drawn, then V of, B, equals 0. In case 4, if B is not a final state in the game, then V of, B, equals V of, B not. Where B is the best final board state that can be achieved starting from B and playing optimally until the end of the game. 3. Choosing a representation for the target function. Let us choose a simple representation for any given board state. The function C will be calculated as a linear combination of the following board features. Let's consider with x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. In x1, the number of black pieces on the board. In x2, the number of red pieces on the board. In x3, 
the number of black kings on the board, in x4, the number of black pieces threatens by red, in x5, the number of red kings on the board, in x6, the number of red pieces threatened by black. This, learning program will represent as a linear function of the form, v cap of, b, equals w0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus w4 by 4 plus w5 x5 plus w6 x6. Where, w0 through w6 are numerical coefficients, or weights to be chosen by the learning algorithm. Learned values for the weights W1 through W6 will determine the relative importance of the various features in determining the value of the board. The weight W0 will provide an additive constant to the board value. Coming to the next keynote that is 4. Choosing a function approximation algorithm. In order to learn the target function F, we require a set of training examples, each describing a specific board state B and the training value train off B for B. Each training example is an ordered pair of the form, b, train of, b. For instance, the following training example describes a bond state b in which black has won the game, note, x2 equals 0 indicates that red has no remaining pieces. And for which the target function value train of, b, is therefore plus 100. Let's take, x1 equals 3, which has 12 blacks. We have to choose randomly. In, x2 equals 0 because there is no red piece. In x3 equals 1, only one black king. In x4 equals 0, no red king. In x5 equals 0, no pieces threatening each other. In x6 equals 0, there is no one piece either black or red that threatens each other. To win the game we have to add 100. Then, here comes as, x1 equals 3, x2 equals 0, x3 equals 1, x4 equals 0 x5 equals 0, x6 equals 0, plus 100. To configure this, there are two values, 1. Estimating trading values, it is a simple approach for estimating training values for intermediate board states is to assign the training state B to be V cap of successor of, B. Where, V cap is the learner's current approximation to V successor of, B, denotes the next board state following B for which it is again the program's turn to move rule for estimating training values. V cap of, successor of, B, to train of, B. Coming to next value. 2. Adjusting the weights. Specify the learning algorithm for choosing the weights. WI is best fit for the set of training examples. B, train of, B. A first step is to define what we mean by the best fit to the training data. One common approach is to define the best hypothesis, or set of weights, as that which minimizes the squared error e between the training values and the values predicted by the hypothesis e equals sigma of, train of, b, minus v cap of, b, whole square. Here, we are using the whole square to reduce the errors. Next final keynote is, the final design. 5. The final design. It is divided into four modules. Performance system. Critic. Generalizes. Experiment general. Noting it shortly. Performance system. In this. We use the target function. It also provides the solution trace and game history. The performance system will solve the performance of the task. Critic. In critic. It will produce a set of training examples. In checkers board example B1. Train of. B1. And B2. Train of. B2 so on. Then. Order pair is B. Train of. B. Generalizes, generalizer will take a training example that has an input and it will generate an hypothesis that has an output. The LMS algorithm used for this output hypothesis is adjusting by the weight W0 to W6. Experiment generator, it will take this current hypothesis as an output and it produces a new problem as an output. Well, that's the end of today's topic. Along with the video explanations, we offer notes, mind maps, infographs and more to all the subjects from your syllabus and also career guidance programs from current working IT professionals, and many more to our supporters. To join our supporters community, use the subscription link given below. For more topics from your syllabus, please visit our website given in the description. If you like the explanation, press the like button and rate us from 1 to 5 in the comments section below. For getting updates on any video we posted, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We will be back with another concept soon.